Hello, my name's Simon and uh, I've been tracking my van with an old mobile phone in case it was stolen. The only problem is it's running out of battery after about a day and a half. So anyway, I've looked to upgrade it and that's what I'm upgrading it with. So I'm going to give you a review of this, although I'm not paid by these. These are available in the UK and the US and probably everywhere else you can probably get, want one. So anyway, let's do a review of that and uh, we'll let you know how we get on. Now then, just a quick word, I've bought an O2 SIM card, uh, a new O2, it's only 99 pence, and I bought that because I'm on O2 on my uh, phone, and I've bought a £10 top up, so I'm hoping I can just top it up online, and then that's activated in the device, if not, I've got a mobile phone that I can put it in, and uh, we'll activate it that way. But a word of warning, it does say, uh, not compatible with three so you can't use a three network sim on it so remember not three so let's dive in and see what we've got so this is 44 pound from Halfords uh, there we go so that's the actual uh, the actual tracker that I'm going to hide somewhere in the van charging port green and red button which I'll find out what they're for in a bit because there is a video you can watch about this so I'm going to pause this, I, I want to show you everything we've got I'm going to pause it, find out exactly how it works and I'll let you know so anyway let, let's see what we get so USB charging cable oh that's right so that's to connect to your battery so red and black lead you know it's not toys and treats Look, it's a mains lead. So, red and black lead, straight to your battery, straight in the device. And, if you do connect it to your battery and you have it in the engine compartment, you get a little bag to put it in. I don't know the... Uh... Oh, I see. Right, so it's got a little seal. So that will go in your engine bay. Like that. Although, I'm just going to top it up, I'm just going to charge it full. And then see, I'm going to hide it somewhere in the van and we'll see how long it stays charged for. I might end up going to see somebody that can put that somewhere to a live wire in the van, 12 volts and we'll specifically hide it in the location that I've been hiding it in, I'm hoping. If not, I'll just keep topping it, charging it up. So I'll let you know in the future about that, uh, topping this up with, you know, charging it up. So we've got a screwdriver and that's a micro, oh right, so your SIM card you put into that and then that into the machine I would imagine because <coughs> that holds a micro SIM so that's to hold a micro SIM, we've got some instructions and purchasing and activating a pay go SIM card is required and it looks to be they are a bit small but with the binoculars on I can see what it says and everything is in English everything let's just see if anything makes sense pay go sim cards are widely available in shops, news agents, garages, post offices, electrical retailers and supermarkets for around a pound I paid 99p please purchase a multi size sim where not available purchase a sim card which is right for your own mobile so that it fits inside right so it wants you to put it in your own so you're going to have to activate the sim card from, from your own phone and place the new one in your phone, top it up and then it gets data from the network then to the SIM then you can take the SIM out and put the SIM into the tracker so we're going to do that right so let's have a look at the SIM card now for that phone I need a micro SIM so let's get a micro SIM So I think it's the next one down from that. You can break that off as well. There we go. I don't have the best, uh, smallest fingers to do these jobs with. Right, so for now I don't need that. I don't need this. I'll need the screwdriver. Right. 
that might come in handy in the future. It depends how long it stays topped up for, or charged up I should say. If it charges up for a few months and stays charged for a few months, that'll do me and I'll just keep hiding it in the van every time I charge it. But as I say, my mobile phone, it's, uh, it's been good, it's done the job perfect. It's just biting the dust now. It's uh, only charging, I charge it up full, it lasts about a day usually. So it's, it's you know, after a year or so, it's, uh, it's about had it. So we'll, uh, we'll charge that full, we'll get that in the phone, we'll get it charged up. So I'll see you back in a bit. I'll put the SIM card into this, I'll show you how, how that goes in, but I'm not going to bore you with it, all the details of it, it's obviously four screws on the back, undo them, put the SIM card in my phone, which I'm going to do, and I'm going to top it up, and I'll, get, I'll come back to you as soon as I've done that. Right, I'm having a lot of fun, I've tried to get this SIM card working in my phone, which won't work, so I've looked online, all two SIM won't work, and it's somebody's put on some site, text swap to this number, so I've done that, but it looks like what I've actually done is I've swapped my SIM card for a new SIM card with my old number or something to that effect so I've put stop, cancel, I've sent all sorts of messages so I don't know what I'm doing but um, it looks like I'm going to have to go back home uh, get the wife's phone and try, try my SIM card in her phone see if it works and then I can top it up once I've topped the phone up, uh, the SIM card, I can then put it in the tracker but getting the SIM card to work in my phone, my phone won't accept any SIM card other than my own unless I text this swap number. But now I think it thinks that I'm going to swap my SIM for this SIM and keep my number. Well, I don't want to do that. So I might end up having to buy another SIM. And uh, I don't know why, you just can't go in the shop and say, right, I'll have that and I'll have it on O2 or I'll have it on whatever, Vodafone or any other network. Everything's got to be hassle, stress and everything else. So, I'll let you know how we get on. Right, are you ready you two? We're going, we're going to have to sort this phone out. Right, so, what I've probably done is turned my SIM card off and turned this one on to my SIM card. So, to save all that, I don't know what I was doing, I bought another one. So, I've got a new SIM now, another 99p gone because I didn't know what I was doing. So let's get that. Right, phones. We've got my wife's phone. So I'm open. This might work in there. So I need the, that double one. Let's try that. If none of this works, it's going it bin. Work it right, it's working, it's working, it's working. Right, let's style them up. Top up line is four 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 four. Hello and welcome to the O2 Pain Go Top Up Service. Right, get on with it. Enter the mobile number you want to top up, followed by hash. The mobile number. Oops, the one I've just. Uh, Right, hang on. More bar number is that, that. Hush. You entered. First time. The text is free to send. Right. Terms are at o2.co.uk. Now, please enter the 16 digit voucher number. Your top up was successful. To top up the same mobile again, press 1. Or to end this call, Press 2. Thank you for using our service. Goodbye. Bye. Right, we're done. We're on. We're in. We're sorted. That's topped up. Right. So, take that out. Oh. 
why that wouldn't just work in my phone is beyond me. Right, that's done. So, I'll get on with undoing that, put that in there, charge it up and I'll come back. Won't be long. I just wanted to show you this bit, It does. They, they came with it, so obviously they're for your SIM card. So the micro one, which I didn't split it that down that far. So the device takes a full size SIM card. And it gives you two, you know, little addition things to, to get your card in. If I can get it in. Where's the original? There. I'll just try it with the original because it won't even go in there. Right. So if I pop that in there, this is the original whole SIM card that it came with. Right. So it doesn't tell you what way around it goes. Oh right, so that corner's cut out there. So it doesn't show you which way around this goes, but I think you go in that way. Oh, it lifts up. Right, so it lifts up, then you put your SIM in. And then you close it, I suppose. Right. It's, it's not going in. Right, that's in. Right. Lid on. Uh, that way. Tiny. I wanted to just show you that bit because of that SIM card. Uh, your micro SIM needs altering to obviously a full size SIM. So, get these screws in. I was hoping this is going to be a quicker video than it's turned out to be, but not only have I had to go back to the shop, I was in a right nice spot. I could have just stayed there a few hours, had a nice brew, kept the dogs going out walking, running about. I've had to go to the shop. Right, anyway. So the green is on. Let's see if there's any power in it coming from the shop. Hold it down for a few seconds. I believe you take that off. Right, absolutely dead. So I'll go charge it up and I'll come back to you. See you soon. Right, we've set it up. We've charged it up for a bit. Uh, you might hear the fan going. I've got the inverter going so I can ch keep charging it as we talk. Now, when you charge this up, it says about five hours is full and then it will last for between 250 and 400 hours. So that's how long it lasts for. And apparently you can use this all over the world. You just need a SIM card uh, for the country that you're going to visit. So if you're going to France, as long as that your SIM works in France, it'll work. If not, get a French SIM card, plonk it in, and away you go. So that's how you use that. So there's some instructions now that you have to follow to activate it. So I need the phone number of the SIM, which is there. So we're going to send these taxis in order that it says. And this is how you turn it on. So I've turned it on with the green button now, it's on. So, how do we send a text? Plus button, two. So it's going to be that, that. So I'm going to save this number in my phone as tracker. Why can't it not send? Mobile network not available. So I've turned this SIM off on a... Right, so my phone won't work now. I give up. Hello. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. And my phone's working. All two have switched it back on. So don't make the mistakes I've made with the SIM card. If it doesn't work in your phone, find a friend's phone it does work in. Right, please ignore instructions regarding no admin 123456 in the manual on pages 3, 6, 7 and 8 so you put all the other requests in apart from that one now I couldn't get it to work and I've been online checked up and according to the gift gaff community you've got to message your tracker so you leave that one out that says no admin right so you're doing everything else but you do message the last message you send is admin 123456 space your phone number and then the tracker responds admin ok so then you're in and you're the admin 
So it doesn't tell you that on, on the box, all the instructions, I've had to look online for that. So right, what I'm going to do now is in real time, I can record my phone as I do it. I'll show you the information from GIFGAF, I'll put it over the top of me talking now so you'll see it. I'm going to record my phone and in real time you'll see I've already hidden the tracker. So I've got 200, minimum 250 hours of battery use according to what it says. So let me uh, start to record the screen for you. Start now. Right, so I'm going to send it a message which is the standard the standard message what I could do with doing is just delete the messages that have got the number in right so the standard message is capital G one two three four five six hash now when I send that it should come back with a message telling me Google Maps where it is I mean it has the car park at the minute so let's see how long it takes so it's hidden in the van, you'd have to destroy the van, to, there it is, it's there. So Google Maps, click that, Google Maps, and let's see if we're where we are. And I'll show you this on the, uh, oh there you go, try petrol stations, no I, I'm near a petrol station. So it's showing me exactly where I'm at, that's, that's where I am. So there you go, it's working. Uh, I've no complaints with that, it was just a struggle to get it going, a struggle with my phone, well it was a SIM card really, so it's not the tracker's fault of the problems I've had, all it's basically been is the SIM card and my phone, because my phone wouldn't accept it. I'm still going to use my phone, uh, I've now got two ways to track this van, so one is a tiny GPS that's hidden, you would have to destroy this van to get it. Um, and my phone, uh, my phone's in a good position as well so I've got two choices to track my van and the reason I did it is because I came into this car park with my granddaughter we got a bit of shopping and then we went to uh, Sports Direct which is not far, not half a mile from here but she didn't want to get out of the van because her sister was sat in the back and if she got out her sister would have nicked the front seat apparently that's what there was going on anyway so I, I, did, I got the, the bits of shopping from that sports shop and uh, when I came back she said that we'd been followed to Asda or she'd noticed a van followed us to Asda the same van was parked near us in Asda but looking at them realising there's people in the van and had followed us to Matalan or well the sports shop we went to and she said I'm sure that van's followed us I said well don't worry about it I said well, we're driving off now that's the reason why I bought that so it could be totally innocent somebody just doing what I'm doing whipping to Asda and going shopping or they were genuinely following us to nick the van when we were out of it. So that's why I've decided to buy that and I'm up in the security now. So I did ask on uh, a few Facebook uh, sites if you've had your van stolen, uh, what security devices did you have that people overcame? Anyway, such is Facebook, you get a lot of absolute cranks. Uh, oh, do you want my credit card? And do you want the. No, what I wanted to know was if you've had your van stolen, what devices did you have on it that they overcame to steal it? So if somebody said, oh, I, I had a such and such uh, steering lock made by so-and-so, and it's a lot of crap because it was off in seconds, well, all right, I won't buy one of them. It was just an idea to give all of us a chance, you know. But anyway, I never got a sensible, I think I got one sensible reply on three different sites. So all I, all I asked them was, read the question. And a few of the people that had put silly comments, I put, well, well just read the question. The question said, um, if you've had your van stolen, I'm very sorry for, you, for what you've lost, but if you've got any spare time, what did you actually lose? Uh, what did they overcome? And then they were able to take your van. So if you watch this video and you've had a van taken, you, you, you know, let us know. Uh, if my van gets stolen, I'll tell you exactly what security devices I had on it that obviously didn't work. But anyway, it went over the head of a lot of people. I don't, I don't know why there's some people on them sites for motorhomes because they've no interest in having a motorhome. I've looked at a few of the profiles; they've got no pictures of having a motorhome. They're just there to troll you. So they're on the motorhome sites, camping sites. They're on the, uh, you know, I don't know, 
friends of Herbie sites, but they just cause hassle all, all the time. So what I'm doing now is whenever I put something out, I get a bad response. I go to that name on Facebook and I click block and they never see me again. So it's great. So I, I, I've got a nice long list now of, of block, 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 block. So anyway, take care, enjoy your tracker and uh, I hope it's been good. Uh, just don't make the mistakes that I made. It's, I'm not tech savvy. I, I give it a go. You know, technology's changed since I, I was like, you know, in my thirties, building my own PCs and things like that. So it's uh, it, it's keeping up with technology. I could have done with Gadget John. That's what I could have done with. I said, here, sort that out, and make it work on my phone. So where have you been, John? That, you could have done that for me, right? Take care. See you soon.